Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we are continuing with the three months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic or Logic 201. In this video, we're going to be starting a new month of Modal Logic. So don't worry if you didn't follow much out of the last two months. You can start again with this month fresh. In this month, we're going to be looking at epistemic, doxastic, and justification logic. And in this video, we'll be answering the question, what is epistemic logic? So at the beginning of the series, I said we were doing October on deontic logic, November on temporal logic, and December on doxastic logic, or the logic of belief. But in fact, what we're going to be doing is expanding December to cover not only doxastic logic, but epistemic logic and justification logic as well. What are those, you may ask? Well, let's take a look. So, as you may be aware, knowledge can be broken up into three necessary parts. Generally, we consider knowledge to be true, justified, belief. That's how Plato put it, and philosophers haven't changed much since then. Now, the logic of knowledge is known as epistemic logic. Epistemology, study of knowledge, epistemic logic, the logic of knowledge. Truth generally can be categorized in terms of alethic modal logic. Check out my video on the modal logic basics for more on that. We're not really going to be covering that side of logic here. We are going to be looking at justification logic, which is the logic of justification, as the name obviously states. And finally, we're going to be checking out doxastic logic, which means the logic of belief. How are we going to do this exactly? Well, for the first half of the month, we're going to investigate both doxastic logic, the logic of belief, and epistemic logic, the logic of knowledge. Because both of these are going to be very closely tied, a lot of the axioms are going to apply in similar ways. So doxastic and epistemic logic we're going to cover kind of together. Then for the second half of the month, we're going to investigate justification logic, or the logic of justification, which is going to both relate to our other modal logics in form, as they all relate using very similar axioms, but also relate to epistemic logic, since justification for most people, not for everyone, but for most people, is a necessary component of knowledge. Because we're covering effectively three different kinds of modal logic, this month will not be as in-depth as the previous months. But it will offer a broader view of epistemic logics. Okay? So, stay tuned every single day this month and every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org for a new video. And stay skeptical, everybody.